This video is all about how we are using our new blueberry rake to get a lot of blueberries really quickly. Stay tuned if you want to see how to use this and an easy method for cleaning these berries that are picked pretty messy at the end of the video. This is Montana Mid Valley Farm, but we are not in Montana right now. We are in northern Minnesota and everywhere we seem to go, I seem to want to forage or grow or pick or harvest something. And here it is wild blueberries, which is pretty awesome. In the past, I've always handpicked these blueberries, which is tedious and it takes a long time. And this year I decided to buy a blueberry rake and it has been amazing. Um, just look how awesome it works. Grooms these plants and you probably notice it picks them pretty messy. Look at all those leaves and sticks in there. We have a really slick and simple way to get these cleaned with items that you probably have laying around your house or in your garage and it's fast and this is a huge time saver compared to just plucking them off of the plants by hand, which is what we used to do. So we're going to pick a bunch of berries and you might notice some of them are green. That's not a big deal because I normally make jam with these. So that seems to, if anything, add a little bit of pectin and make the jam better. All right, let's get some blueberries raked. So it's kind of the end of the season for blueberries here, and they are about to be done. So there's not too many left, but still a few. Oh, I missed some back in there. See, now that plant is like completely, or those plants really, are completely groomed over and I didn't have to find all of those little clusters in there to get that picked. And look at what's in here. Let's put them in our bucket. And we are off to the races. That took me a couple of moments. There was only one other scoop in this bucket before. Okay, let's find some more. So in this particular patch, this is not as full as it normally is. I just wanted to come and do this for the sake of this video. We've already been out a bunch picking berries. This patch is pretty picked over by other people, which, just keep that in mind, I guess. And of course, you do need to find a spot that is a good spot in your area if you have wild blueberries around. See some decent ones over here. So my favorite thing to do with these is make jam to preserve it for a long period of time. I like to do blueberry rhubarb jam because they really hold up together well. They seem to both have enough pectin. I don't add pectin to that. And it's... It's been a really good recipe, and that's kind of my purpose for getting all these. Of course, you could do tons of things with blueberries. You could save them for just frozen for the winter. Um, you could just eat them fresh, obviously. You can make pancakes. You can make all sorts of stuff. You can make pies, of course. People like doing that. Look how quick I can just get these. I definitely don't want to go back to hand picking after that. Now this tool was a little bit pricey, so I guess that's something to keep in mind, but it is such a time saver. Look at all those. This tool is built well, and it will definitely be lasting for a long time. Multiple generations if we wanted it to. This spot right here looks pretty decent. Look at all those. I want to mention this is not an ad for this particular tool, but it is pretty awesome and I definitely want to buy a couple more or make something similar because it has been pretty amazing to get all of these berries in a very quick and easy way compared to hand picking every berry individually. Look at all those. And this isn't damaging the plants. I know when I first started picking blueberries, I'd really worry about that. But this isn't damaging the plants. If I was, you know, a bear out here or something, I'd be doing a lot more damage to the plants than pulling off a couple of extra leaves. It does kind of build up with a little bit of stuff in there, but you can just pull that out. Not a huge deal. And keep going. So I know I'm showing this for blueberries, and this is what this rake is intended for. But I'm kind of wondering if I could use this rake to do currants or maybe 
Um, huckleberries, we have those in Montana. There might be other round berries that this would work really nice for. If the stems and the berries are the right size, this might work really well in some other berries, which would be pretty awesome to discover. And all those sticks and things, we don't even need to worry about them. We have a really good way to get rid of them. Super easy. If you want to just go to that in the time codes to see what I'm talking about, please feel free to click that in the video. So I know I talked a little bit about why I'm including this in our channel, being that I'm not in Montana right now, and our channel is Montana Mid Valley Farm. Because I just want to show about all the different ways you can use the resources around you in different areas. And these are the areas that I'm in, but I'm sure in different parts of the country there's different things that you can harvest and use and not just let go to waste. And that's kind of like a big philosophy and idea that I really like personally, I guess. Okay, so we have been out here maybe 10 minutes. Look at this bucket. If I were to pick those by hand, that would have taken so much longer, so much longer. So um, we will get back to the cabin, and we will show you just how to clean all of these berries. And I might pick a couple more. So now we are back at the cabin, and we have our blueberries that we picked, and they are picked super messy, lots of sticks and leaves and other yucky stuff in there. And this is our super fancy, just kidding, our system that we use to screen them out. All you need is a little bit of a hill. So the sawhorses are placed in a little bit of a hill. We have a couple of sawhorses. We have an old screen out of a window. This was just kind of laying around. We weren't using it anyways. We have our berries. We have two spatulas and we have a bucket for the clean berries to go in. All right, and then to get them screened, all we're gonna do is we're gonna pour them on the uphill and the berries are gonna roll right down and we're gonna spread them like this to get them to go down the hill. And then at the end of the hill, we're just gonna scoop them up and put them right in our bucket. It's a super easy method. It only takes 10 minutes maybe, and it saves us a ton of time, especially since we can pick so many berries so quickly. I know there are probably others out there who may have a different way to do this. And I would love to hear about it in the comments if you have a good method for cleaning berries that are picked messy. This is just what we could think of on the fly to get the sticks and leaves separated from the berries. If you like this video or if you want to see the blueberry rhubarb jam that we can with these blueberries, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.